Good day, my great and wonderful subscriber. Happy New Week. Every Nigerian's body ones in Nigeria and outside were surprised at the late hours of yesterday prior to what President Bola Ahmed Tunubu did. Nobody expected him to make more of that, even though he has been making some correction concerning money laundry and mismanagement of funds. As if that was not enough, the next move President Bola Ahmed made got everybody shocked because this is more like a directive from late Prophet T.B. Joshua when he was alive. He prophesied about some things about Nigeria that if care is not taken, the revolution will start up. But the citizens of the country never believed what, when, and how what he prophesied would happen but my people here today i'm going to reveal everything to you even though presently prophet b joshua has been exposed about a lot of illicit and condemnable acts that he involved himself when he was alive even though nobody knows if what he revealed about him are true or false but i want to implore you to stay to the end of this video to hear what he said how everything is already playing out my people please help us to share this video to every social media platform if you cannot share a like you give it a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for us we will be back in the gif <laughs> The hood of crime scene is happening in the street again. The center of political news, celebrity gossip, religious gossip, and happiness in the society. Join us. The voice of Africa. Welcome you to Large Park TV show where we bring you political, gist, celebrity, and religious gossip. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do where to click the red subscription button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you anytime we drop another trending gist. There's no more news that BBC released a lot of atrocity about Prophet TB Joshua and some of the things he might have done while he was alive. The reason why I use that word is because nobody is actually sure about all these things said about him, even though we have white and black on the documentary released about him. From my own perspective, I in person like the Prophet TB Joshua, not because of his preaching or because he's a man of God, but because of his open mind to help people. I can't actually say in total numbers of people he has helped, but I also cannot say because he is a philanthropist that all those atrocities are false. One has to be neutral in such things. So let us go to what brought us to this Prophet TB Joshua topic today. If you could remember in one of the videos I uploaded late last year, where Prophet TB Joshua prophesied about revolution and what Nigeria government will need to do to avert this revolution. I will play this video so that all of you will hear and see these things he said in the video. He said youths should be allowed to hold some offices in government that by so doing that this may lead to averting revolution now see of recent what miss better edu who is still in her youth age see what she did with the public fund if this is how our youth will be doing when they get to the power then nigerians are not yet ready to grow i mean so this president bola mentunibu will be commended this time for not looking at this mistake or defrauding miss better edu was trying to make out of nigerian fund he still went ahead and assigned obi asika halinu and nine others to head at entertainment agency as the chief executive officer of the agencies under the federal ministry with this you will see that from this perspective president bola metunubu is trying to make us believe that nigeria one day will be better prophet bj already prophesied this i will play this video for you to see what he said about nigeria so it's cause for concern that nigerians are talking ill of this man because of all the allegations made about prophet bj joshua we also have some men of god whom their prophecies have never come to pass and still want people to believe that their prophecy is from god castigating this prophet tb joshua there are a lot of videos released online talking about these women that were actually interviewed by bbc on this documentary that I actually talked about Prophet T.B. Joshua when he was alive. There are actually evidences against some of these women that these are the things that they do around to frame men of God. Even one of them was actually exposed online that does our own work even from the country that she came from that that's what she does there even the pastor said that she actually collected she tried collecting numbers of pastors from him just because that's what she loves doing and even there's one woman that actually came out sometimes ago saying something about prophet tb joshua that he has actually raped him and do and he has done a lot of things to her but this same woman forgot that she said that she said she was trapped in the synagogue church of all nation and this same woman also came out that this man of god has been sending her out to go and look for virgins for him just imagine you said you've been trapped in the beauty now you are the same person you are the same person that is telling us now that this same man always sent you out to go and look for virgin guests that he wants to rape that he wants to this virgin and he will use the clothes of the bed sheets that he actually uses in sleeping with them and use it for whatever that pleases him how are you expecting nigerians to believe all these cook up lies even though i'm not supporting prophet tb joshua whatever thing that he might have done that nobody knows but with what she said there are a lot of lies in it if you should listen very well to all these people you will see that there are a lot of lies in it but this video is not actually meant to expose all, or expose all of them but i will show you the videos where prophet tb joshua prophesies about what is going to happen in nigeria which is already happening and he also said in that video that youths especially youths needs to be carried along now i can say that president bola metunubu is already carrying the youths of nigerians along my, my people stay to the end of this video watch the video and i will come back and comment about whatever that i have said in the video stay to the end of the video we'll be right back carry your youth along that is the title carry your what carry your youth along 
carry your youth along. When we say youth, you know people they call youth. Do you know I'm youth? <laughs> because I declare my age, are you? I'm youth. Carry us along, including me. And stop using our stock. You talk of 50, 5 is 0 down to 20, 19. Mm. Hardly you see any government, most especially in Africa, you see at that 50 year to 19 year in an important position. If you see youth, 19 year, 20 year, 40 year, as a chairman of the company, you see that he inherited that company from his father or parent. So God showed me this vision. Not sitting down writing an article. This is not press conference. This is a vision I saw. Carry your youth along. I'm seeing a revolution. When I say revolution, I mean every revolution starts by protests. When it starts by protest, at that protest, the power can stop them, they have the ability to stop them. But when it becomes revolution, no one can stop revolution. Revolution means everyone is ready to go for it. This is the one we are seeing in other nations all over. I repeat again, I'm seeing what? A revolution. I'm seeing people taken to the streets. At the beginning of that protest, instead of revolution i said protest is a parable yeah because when it started you think it's a protest but at the end of the day you realize that this is a revolution you can stop protest but you cannot stop revolution tell your neighbor you can stop protest but revolution you cannot stop you know every revolution start by protest if i'm talking let us see your hand it will come, people carry planka, hey, 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 you say, ah, this protest, you carry police, you carry everything, you stop them. But when it becomes revolution, everybody are ready to die. So you can't stop it. At the beginning of that protest, I call it beginning because at the beginning of every revolution, it looked like protest. It might be stopped at the beginning, eventually it will become so big that it cannot be stopped. This I see happen. Nigeria, pray. All over the world, it will move from one country to another. God has given us the way out. Listen to the way out. The way out, are you there? job creation for the youth and the creation of a new social value system i will explain not job creation but a creation of a new social value system this is because 90 percent of youth believe that it is by becoming political talks that they could be successful. It by become what? Political talks. They can be successful. Especially, you see PhD, even a professor today, they become talk to the political leaders. Professor, because they have no job can send a professor to do anything for you for money because he has nothing to do take note because those in the political office do not want to retire in politics and become state man you know the reason why the youth turn to talks people in power in political offices they are not ready to retire and retire and become state man Nobody is ready. And the youth, they are jobless. 
they are supposed to be included in the system because when the people up there are not retired there is no offices for youth new people new intake no matter the education the youth have whether phd or professor youth they feel they have no place in politics and there is no job to keep them busy there must be a new orientation there must be a new war orientation in politics the youth should be considered for a important position such as assistant to elders i'm talking again in politics the youth the way out should be considered for important positions such as assistant to the elders why the elder are ministers the youth should be junior ministers why the elders are ministers the youth should be what junior ministers this little example of being junior minister can change the situation of things tell your president tell your leaders tell your prime minister all over the world the revolution is coming in every department of government or politics the youth should be junior assistant to the leaders to the head of such departments the youth should be what should be junior assistant to the heads of such departments whatever department either chairman of a company or director or administrator that must be junior administrator chairman of the company that must be junior chairman head of processor that must be junior processor just name municipal that must be junior municipal a good example the chairman of political party of your country could be an elder why youth should be the junior chairman the chairman of your political party could be an elder why a youth should be the junior chairman under him as the second in command when we say youth you know what we mean among youth you see professor among them phd among them master degree among them. there is no area of life you cannot find in youth we talk of 40 to 50 years to 20 years even you see 20 years old a professor in all appointment into department of politics or administration youth should be considered as well second in command by doing this we are training them to take over tomorrow this is because they are leaders tomorrow this is a message to the whole world and not only to your country this is because revolution is a weapon of change that is coming revolution is a weapon of change that is coming this is a vision i'm not preach and i'm not teach this is what i saw look at my track record what i've been saying right from the beginning of this ministry this is the vision i saw revolution is coming when people will take to the street because life has no value anymore to the people out there it has started somewhere i said it five years ago two years ago three years ago is in the video and the record i read it here and if time permits us i'll bring all those cases out some of these have been played on Imane TV. They are in the archives. If time permits, I will show them. Any nation that will start it now will avert the coming revolution. Every offices, every department, 
every administration just mention assistant, assistant, minister of this, assistant youth, chairman of this, assistant youth, this, that, 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 all over the world, in every area, you will see the whole thing will come. And they let them know that these people are appointed to appeal to the youth. Carry your youth along in your politics and administration, especially in ruling your country. Tell your neighbor, carry your youth along in your politics, administration, especially in ruling your country. I have said it, none of this will go without being fulfilled. I have said it, none of this will go without being what? Read about me and my track record. This is the voice of God. I realized my message right from the beginning of my ministry were never believed until they came to pass. I want you to believe this before it come to pass because it will be disastrous. Look at what has happened in our neighboring country, good example, Egypt. Because of the first evolution that happened there, that's the challenge they are facing now. When we carry the youth along, whenever there is a revolt or situation, they will be available to readily speak to their colleagues. Because people that are going for revolution or protest, 90% of them are youth. And they would like to hear the voice of their colleague better than anybody talking to them. If the junior minister come out, or junior chairman come out to talk to the protester, and they know he's a junior chairman, is there to represent them, they will listen to him better than anyone. The youth want to see themselves represented in every area of life. That is the answer to the problem coming. God bless your nation. God bless the whole world. Peace be unto your nation. Those who cry peace, hey, there is peace, there is peace to you. Prophesying nothing but smooth things. What you want to hear. Tell your neighbor, smooth thing me what you want to hear. They will come to you as ministers, but what you want to hear, they will tell you. And what you want to hear is all is well, whereas nothing is well. Everything is all right, sir. You are trying. Everything is okay. I take it back again. Those who cry peace to you, victory be to you. All is well, unlimited favor. Prophesying nothing but smooth things. As sure as God lives, I will tell you only what God says. As sure as God lives, I, T.B. Joshua, will tell you only what God says. If I'm hated, if I'm persecuted, intimidated because of my accurate prophetic utterances, blessed be to God who gives the prophecy. Finally, this is the worst of wisdom. As truth was older than terror, so it will survive it. It got the start and it will get the race. The day will declare who is in the right and who is in the wrong. 
says the law. The day will declare who is in the right, who is saying the truth, uh, who is saying the first. When God gives being to the well, that well becomes alive. When you say be healed and the person is not here, it means God has not given being to the well. If you say, be delivered in Jesus' name and the person is not delivered, it means God has not given being to the word. Being means life. Word is a person. Word is a person. When you don't regard word as person, you misbehave. You talk anyhow. When God gave being to the word, the word move and walk. Are you with me? When God gives being, B-E-I-N-G, to the word, that word becomes alive. You can speak where without being. When God himself gave being to the word, the word becomes alive. What God says is final. God has all men's hearts in his hand and turn them as he places to serve his purpose contrary to their own first intention god bless you this is my message to you the country what i'm talking about will start from you don't know but it has started already the next country you don't know but you don't wait until that revolution come to your country. This is the solution. Tell your neighbor, the revolution has started. The next country, I don't know. It has started. What has started cannot be stopped unless we appeal to God. every department every ministry administrative office head assistant head youth head assistant head youth minister of this junior minister youth minister of labor elders junior one youth chairman of your party junior chairman youth all around once that is done you have given employment job creation you have started it and with that the job will start in any nation that is ready to create job for the youth is to change the authority over there minister of the minister of finances elders junior minister of finance youth and let this youth know that we appoint you to represent your people out there. When job come in any offices, you'll see every area will be balanced. The right job you can create now to appeal to the ominous sign that is coming. It's right, all political offices, administrative department, all over the world, even private company, you government, you have the right to talk to the private owner. Every office, a manager is elders. Junior manager should be youth. They will fight for their people out there. Because that spirit is in them. That is the best way to create job. Job creation. My people, you heard what he said in this video. I'm ever since we've entered the year 2024 you see that the slogan that most nigerians have been saying is that no go grief for anybody and even the police force actually came out and said that this word you know go grief that you people are actually making use of i can actually spark up a kind of revolution and it's actually generated by some set of people that are actually known to be gang that they should mind the way they use this word and even the army came out and said that let us make use of this word don't grieve for any terrorists that might come your way prophet tb joshua said something that god have his own way to 
manipulate to change the mind of a man even though he actually wants to do something negative at one point but can actually change his mind to actually do what he didn't plan to do which means that he might actually plan he might actually plan to do bad but once god decides to change the mind of that person the person will start doing things that are contrary to his first motive now you could see that president bola meant to immediately enter most of people say i actually believe that he's not coming there to help nigerians he's not coming there to save nigerians he's actually coming there for his own pocket with the way he has actually been make use of funds the net general funds even though he actually went outside the country to borrow a lot of money but with the way he has been managing the money most people have not actually been okay with it with the way he has been making use of the money by allocating it to senators to buy exotic cars even to the office of the first ladies and you now see that people ask as people lately have been commending him with the way he actually has uh, suspended better head and as long side with our accomplice with those people that they actually looted those money now I see that people are already saying that president bola mentinubu has been doing a lot of things lately that needs to be commended since he could thought it wise to assign ubi asika ali nu and nine others to head at entertainment agencies as the chief executive officer it actually shows that he already have the good minds of the people at art my people from this video feel free to share your own opinion at the comment section if you can, if you can share this video share it to every social media platform if you cannot share like it give it a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for us and if you are coming across this channel for the very first time please do where to click the rest subscription button and don't forget to click the bell icon so that youtube will notify you any whenever we drop another trendy video see you in our next video bye for now